So if you want to knock down a castle wall, you need a siege engine. You're not going to do it by yourself. The big siege engines of the 13th, 14th century were absolutely massive. We're talking sort of 80, 90 feet high, weighing many tons. They'd have 15, 20 ton counterweight. They'd be able to put a whole ox in there or a quarter of a ton rock. That's massive, that's sort of three feet across. And it'd take the crew of 12 men to load it in there. And then they'd be able to put that about a mile downrange and into the castle wall. It would absolutely blow the castle wall to bits. However, today, we're going to use this, a grapefruit. We've got a smaller siege engine here. This is one of the early ones. And as you can see, our crewman there is going to load the round into the net. And then we're going to shoot that. The men have braced on the ropes. They'll pull down in a moment. The arm moves up rapidly, and that actually starts the round moving. But what really puts the energy into it is the net. And this was the sort of breakthrough in the technology of how these weapons work. This is the bits that the Arabs gave to us in the knowledge of siege warfare. As, as the arm goes up, the net actually spins around through 270 degrees, almost a complete circle. Then the net will slip off the spike and release the round. And then you'll see it disappear off down into the trees. So, three, two, one, pull. Three, two, one, pull. 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 Oh. 